Just want to point out to you that we're going to be doing a real quick easy mod for the Mad Cat's uh, fight stick. For, uh, this one's actually the Xbox 360. Uh, what's great about these sticks, they're easily modeled. I mean, really, all you need is a Phillips screwdriver. And of course, the proper joystick. Joystick? Uh, right here is a uh, Sunla JLF. Let's see, let me read that. JLF TP8YTSK. They run you about $25 online. With an octagonal uh, restrictor plate, which is a Sonla GTY octagonal restrictor plate, run you about five bucks. So combined, 30 bucks. $30, you can get rid of the shitty Mac Hack stick and put in a real Sonla joystick. So come on in, get around, and let's take a look at what makes this thing tick. So here we have is your Mad Cat's fight stick. Make sure you put some a nice cloth or something on it. You don't want to scratch up the face of your buttons and your uh, the ball top of your joystick. So you flip it over, and there is uh, six screws. Just take your Phillips screwdriver and remove the six screws. What you want to make sure you do is uh, these four screws right here is what hold the feet in place. So through Miracle of Modern editing, now the six screws magically have been removed. Make sure you take your screws, put it in a cup so you don't lose them. What you have here is a security seal right here to basically keep it so your warranty is still valid. Of course, we don't care about warranties. We're risk takers. So you take your nail, if you had any nails, and uh, or use a flathead. Just cut that and it will pop right off. Revealing the lovely guts of a Mad Cat's fight stick. What you have right here is your joystick. It has your four screws and the one plug that keeps that thing uh, connected to this PCB. And you have your buttons right here. Very easy, very easy to replace. As you can see, the Sama stick with the octagonal restrictor plate is almost identical. Because quite frankly, this the Mad Cat joystick is a generic version of this. So, what you need is to take your screwdriver and remove your four screws. Now, as you can see, the four screws have been removed. The joystick is now floppy. All you need to do now is to take a flathead, twist it, And you'll remove the ball top. This, these are kind of cool because uh, even though they're not official, you can put them in any other Jusanwa joystick. They are compatible. If you like white, cool. Remove the dust cover. Joystick pops right off. They kind of put a little epoxy right here on the connector to keep it from moving. Just kind of wiggle it, and it'll come right off. So here's your old Sanwa, excuse me, your old Mad Cat's joystick. Now, here is your official Sanwa joystick. What you want to do now is remove the ball top. Set that aside. And all you gotta do is make sure the connector pin is facing on the upper right corner. Upper right corner. Slide it right in. Take your wire connection. Connect it. Mount it in place. And take your screwdriver and screw down, screw down. Now the joystick is mounted. So if you really wanna replace your buttons, Real simple. Take a flathead screwdriver, kind of pry it right here, and they pull right off. Except for that one. Except for this one. <laughs> All right. Then you see these two little uh, flanges, I guess. You just basically press that in. Push it in. Push it in. Oh, 
pops right off. Real simple. So now, you can take your new Sawa buttons, or Semetsu, doesn't really matter. And you can install them right back in place by pushing them in. And when you hear that snap, it's in place. And all you gotta do is plug it back in. You just swapped out a button. Just continue on with the rest of them, and your buttons are swapped. So, um, but unfortunately, the person who wants his joystick modded wants to keep the button stock. Don't ask me why, but it's how it is. So, we're gonna move it back. All you need to do now is to place your uh, your base back on to seal in your, uh, excuse me. Take your screws, put your screws back in to secure the base of your joystick. That's how you change out a joystick on a uh, Mad Cat's uh, fight stick. Real simple, real easy. You'll have the nice eight-way motion, give you smooth, you do the hydrogens real easy, you know. But I like these joysticks a lot. They give you a lot of flexibility. You can uh, change them out, you can put Semetsu buttons, you can put Semetsu sticks, you could uh, go different colors. Personally, I hate the artwork on these uh, joysticks. I think it's pretty ugly. So, uh, but with a little imagination and some hard work, you can get your stick looking pretty sexy. Mm. Red hot. Like this. Stain the plastic red. Got new art. Got the same into buttons. Sporting the art across the buttons and a nice cool joystick. Yeah. You know you want this. So, for the walkthrough, come to PineConAttack.com. We take everything seriously. So, uh, here's our walkthrough. Just look over to the that side of the screen, and you'll see it uh, linked there. If it's not there yet, just wait. It'll be up soon. This is Django Fat, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Game on. I want to know how to feet. I want to know the place where my soul is burning out.